Hello and welcome to a tutorial by me, SK Drake, and this is using the Attack of the B Team mod pack. I'm going to be covering some of the Mind Factory Reloaded blocks. We're going to start. Uh, this is going to be a, a tutorial and series. I'm going to show you how the Mind Factory Reloaded blocks work with each other. And I'm also I'm going to be using uh, Thermal Expansion for power. So the first thing we need to set up is we need to get power. So do that. You take an aqueous accumulator and put it here. So take out that there. And we need a water bucket. There we go. Water bucket. Put down some water, bloop, 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 and our aqueous accumulator in the middle, uh, place, and middle, there we go, and it's surrounded by four sides, it's going to fill up with water real fast, next is the steam dynamo, pop that on top, and it's going to fill up with water, on top of that, we're going to put energy cell actually no we need oh, I'm so prepared blue ducks uh, what the hell I'm going crazy here there we go mouse freaked out on me so we're gonna have this feeding three Dynamos. So we're gonna have one go up. Up. Is that right? We put this here. No. It's gonna have. Well, yeah, it can go there. And we're gonna throw this on top here. Put one here. And one here. Pop this open, throw this stuff back in here. Grab the wrench. Bloop. Disconnect that. And disconnect that. That's just because it doesn't need to be connected. Now these are all full with water. So we're going to have to give them. All of these need. Um, blah, blah, blah. Coal to run. So we got to feed them all coal. And bloop. There we go. Then we have our coal coming in here. Down this line. Now to get that coal. We're going to be using the planter, the harvester, sledgehammer, sledge boiler, ruler, and upgrade. First thing we do is we're going to plop down our planter on this line here. Bloop. And put one. There we go. It's gonna sit right there. Now with this uh, sledgehammer, this is where it's gonna be planted. So this is where it's gonna plant all its items on the top here. So you need a block of dirt. Let's grab some dirt. Up. And. Up. and this is the default area for the planter. Now you can give it an upgrade. You can give it a lapis, which increases the radius by one. So now if you look at it, it overhangs by one. You can give it all kinds of upgrades. Here we go, let's show you upgrade. You can go from one block all the way up to 11 and back down to negative one so you can make it a one by one planter also here uh yeah i just want to show you here's a copper with an upgrade of four gives you huge now radius means from this block here this is the center so it's got a radius of one for default and then you add four more blocks uh, we'll just grab four. One, two, three, four. 
and you can see now that's the edge so from the 9x9 nine nine, whenever you increase the radius increase it by 1 for a lapis it's only going to come out to here increase it 2 3 4 and that's on both sides so this comes out 4 1 2 3 4 the front 2 3 4 and the back 1 2 3 4 so that's our new planting area. Alright, the harvester, you want to set centered on facing in. Oops. Facing in. There we go. Little teeth facing in. Give it that. On the very edge of the planter. Centered on the edge. Now this is only going to do a 3x3 three three in front of it. So if we look at it here, you can see the flashy, there you go. It's only a 3x3, three three. it goes to here. Now if we increase the radius on this, it's slightly different. So increase it by 1, you'll notice that it goes further 1 and it goes to the side 1 and 1. So now instead of a three, one, two, three, it's a five by five. So a three by three becomes a five by five. And we make a copy of that. Increase radius by four. Take that out. You will now notice it covers all of it. So when the harvester if you put the harvester and the planter with the exact same upgrades, options, peaceful, done, back to game. Harvester and planter with the same upgrades, as long as you put the harvester on the very edge and centered with the planter, it'll cover the same area. I recommend doing that whenever you use the harvester and planter combo. I'm gonna fill this out real quick. Like so. And I forgot something. Oh, take away. And all right, the whole area is now covered. Well, three quarters of the whole area is now covered in dirt. Finish up this side here. Up, there we go. And bam. All right, so this is the area it will plant in and harvest with the copper upgrade, which is a four. Which, if you take your handy dandy ruler, do oh no, this one ruler. Off from my factory loaded, also it's just two pieces of plastic with a piece of paper. Great item, you place it all right, right click, start position, and end click. It's a 10. And if we start here and go here, it's a 10 by 10 area. So, with the copper upgrade, which is four, copper upgrade, which increases the radius by four, you get a 10 by 10 square. Now if you go crazy and do the emerald one, which is huge. The emerald increases it by 11. Upgrade. Yeah, 11. So that's 11 from the 9x9. Nine nine. So it's going to be 2, 11 is 13 on one side and 13 on another. That's 26. It's going to make a 26 by 26 area for planting. That's huge. We don't need that big. But what we do need to do is we need to hook up power. Throw this stuff back in here. We need power. We need item ducts. We need fluid ducts. So I'm just going to run the items. Are going to come out of the back of this. And down. The power. I can run out of here. And up. Now this is the one thing that 
a little tricky. Alright, there we go. Right there, right Alright, that's connected. Oh, 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 there we go. Da, da. We need to put this stuff up. We need this French. We need sledgehammer. All right, we need to change this. Well, no, that's input. We need to change this. Right click on it and then change it to mode dense. Right click is vacuum and then that we want to set it to green vacuum so this has the highest priority dense is the lowest priority so you got low priority high priority and normal we want this thing filling first this is the highest priority we want this thing to fill up with saplings so we go oak oh i don't know how to spell it. oak there we go let me stacks of those. There we go. And we want to filter everything. Is oak. You can set these. These are the grids on where it's going to plant stuff. So you have this grid, and this grid, and this grid, and this grid, blah, blah, blah. Throw that in there. So we got this highest priority to get all these saplings. That's the first place I want saplings to go. So they can come out of the harvester. All saplings are going to go there. This is not how this goes. This we need a redstone, redstone furnace, which you make. Oops. R. Uh, get out of there. R. Copper, machine frame, and bricks. That's just gold and ball. If you have any eye, it's easy to look up. All right, here. All right, so this is output. Bloop. The harvester is going to get everything. I want all the coal, or all the logs to go in here. And we got to make sure the back of this, come over here. This is the back. That's an input. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. So the only input is the back here. So if we give it this, it'll have a blue little icon. Alright. The back. There we go. So now we got set up. It's going to plant oak trees. It's going to harvest them. You can shear the leaves if you want to make plant balls. But for a thermal expansion and in this uh, Attack of the BT mod, I figured I found the best way to do this is just to uh, chop down them and regrow trees. There's no reason to make. You can go into the biofuel, which is a pain. I haven't got that to work yet. I found the best is the steam dynamos because all the dynamos in thermal expansion, magma, liquid, whatever's. All four of them, they all produce 80 RF. Yeah, 80 RF a tick. They all do. Every single one of them. Its output is max power 80 RF a tick for all the dynamos. Uh, let's go here. Dynamo. Yep. Steam dynamo 80. Uh, magmatic 80. Compression is 80. And reacting is 80 so there's no real reason to go into these ones in this one pack I mean someone might be able to find a way but uh, we want the output coming out here and the bottom of this output there so it's gonna output coal now we want to set these to high priority and then everything else is going to be extra. So we're going to put this here. Get rid of you. Put you there. And we're going to put that on high priority. Grab these. Go up. And go up. The output of this 
it's gonna go same thing up and up don't want disconnected go away like that so now here we go we got the planter it's gonna plant harvest is gonna harvest it's gonna output mainly into the furnace unless it's full and everything else will go in the chest saplings go in here that's what I've got uh, pneumatic we need these let's get 64 I don't know if I can use them we're gonna throw that in there right click on it and give me one of those we're gonna whitelist. We only want saplings going in there. So only saplings going there. We need oak, oak log. We're gonna put a you go in there, and we're whitelist, and we only want oak logs going in there. There we go. Alright, so, recap. Planter is going to plant oak trees. Harvester is going to harvest all the oak trees. It's going to not shear the leaves. It's going to output. It should au output automatically. I don't think it needs a pneumatic servo. And high priority logs into the furnace. Saplings into the planter. Everything else into the overflow chest. Then... The furnace is going to cook those oak logs and output highest priority into our steam dynamos. And then everything else into the overload chest. So let's give this sucker a run. We need some uh, charcoal. We'll get, uh, let's get a full stack. And we'll just split that up into three stacks. There we go. And there. So I'm going to start this baby up. Throw in some coal. Charcoal. Throw in some charcoal. And throw in some charcoal. Now this thing is not set to output. So we're getting power quite fast. Now we need to set the output of this. So everything is an input. Everything is an input. We need to change this output no that's not it it should be this one there we go now it's outputting we got NG going out really fast the planter has planted all the trees and we still got seven left so these trees are gonna grow let's get some bone meal to speed this up bone meal grab a stack don't really need it but we'll just do it Bam. Now the harvester is going to chop it down. Some point in time. It's working. The harvester slowly works its way through. There it goes. It chops it up. Alright. In here we got nothing. And Oh, we didn't power this. Oh, jeez. And er, uh, we need to get power to this. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now it's got power. And it's going to cook up these logs. So we have nothing in overflow. We should have more than six saplings, right? We had seven. Chopped down one tree, planted one. So that's six. And we got six saplings. Are we can get any saplings for that? That's horrible. Let's chop down another tree. Oh, there we go. So we got six saplings. This can chop down this tree, plant one, gives a five. There's nothing in these pipes. There we go, chops down the tree. She gets some more wood logs. Yep, there we go, there's the wood logs. And here's the sapling that fell on the ground. Something ain't working. Oak saplings. Oh, there we go. We got eight now. We had six. 
I think one of them is seven. Oh, is another tree gonna chop down? We got eight in there. Chop down. Oh, look at them grow. Chop, 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 chop. All right, let's look at this. We have seven, and it should go up. Any time now. Don't make me a liar. It's gonna make me a liar. Eight, there we go. See, eight, nine, there it goes. Alright, so we got all our shotguns going in there. Once that's full, the overflow will catch the rest of the. And, oh, look, we got the apple in there. So, we're gonna throw the apples in there. This is cooking up logs. These all. No, I wanna connect to you. Okay, it's it's burning up and we got 29 charcoal now. Remember, I only threw 21 in there. That one's running low. That one's running low. Why is this one getting it all? Okay, let's do... Uh, dense, vacuum, round robin. Uh, let's do vacuum. Let's see if that fixes it. Alright, let's see. One comes out. That's 34. That's 4. That's 4. That's not gonna work. We gotta change this around, Robin. Let's see that. We're gonna take this down to 8. Or four. That one has three. That one has four. That's cooking up some logs. That should be filling these up. Four. Three. 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 Four. Two. Uh huh. Four. Three. Okay, it's, it's filling them up now. And nothing to do. Oh, it's going in there. I knew it. What if we make you dense? And that prevents the coal from going in there. It's cooking up, round robin style. Three. Four. It's keeping them. Four. Nothing in there. And it's going. It's cooking up. Three, four, and four. So I just keep them pretty steady on those now. And we still get charcoal in there. Dang it. Alright, the other way to fix this is off the second off. Doing that. Doing that. Alright, now it's just going to fill those up and there's going to be no overflow for the coal. Which is alright, we really don't need that overflow. So this like is chopping up, let's see how our power is going. We are at a hundred and... Oh, 1.3 million and rising fast. Oh, oh, jeez, exit. So, Alright, this is step one. Oh my god, this is Step one, just getting this part started up. So now we got power. We got our main power line here. Which we're going to be using. Now this is only three steam dynamos are doing all this. And the only bad thing is you get these leaves or blocks that just fall off in random places. We'll be cleaning that up in next episode. Next episode we'll be covering the... Oh, one last thing we need to do. Get rid of all this junk. We need a fluid duct. And did I put it in here? Sludge boiler. Oh, and item duct. Item duct. Alright, the one thing is this thing. The harvester. As it's chopping down trees, it's gonna fill it with sludge. 
Now, it's supposed to stop working when it's full of sludge, but this thing is not stopping. Huh. That might only be four plants. This thing is full to the max and it's still working. We got 20 logs overflow. This thing is full. So we can run. Right now we can add another redstone furnace. To get even more coal into these. These are right now sitting at 4, 7, and 8, 6, 5. Alright, so these are set to... I really don't need to vacuum in them anymore. This is just set to round robin, so it's going to go this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. So I can get rid of these vacuums. Don't need them to be vacuums, because they're all the same priority. It's just going to circle around. Get out of here. So that's what round robin does. Um, dense. Yes, yeah, that's low priority. Vacuum, high priority, round robin. Go around, fill each one. There, 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 there. Just around in a circle. So it looks like you don't have to do anything with the sludge. So never mind about the sludge boiler. We'll cover that in another episode. But that's it for today's tutorial. Tomorrow we will be adding... Where is it? Tomorrow we'll be covering... To do in here somewhere, fisher, harvester, rancher, fertilizer, fertilizer. Oh no, no. Tomorrow we'll be covering. Where is it? The sewer, the composter, and the breeder, and the chronotypology thing of a bobber. Where are you? Where's the chrono thingy? There you go. The chronotyper. So we'll be covering the breeder, the chronotyper, the sewer, and the composter. So that's next episode. And I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, if you liked the video, like the tutorial, and want to see more of them, make sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Love you guys. Bye.